Hello, Power Wash Fiends. What's up? Welcome back to Introt Gaming. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Today we're taking another look at Power Wash Sim. They've had a few drops since the last time I played, so we're going to take a look at those. Um, there is a new summer job, a seasonal special. Um, this says it's new. I already did this one, but I may have to replay that one to get it off of there. Uh, but the new summer seasonal job is to clean the cruise ship sun deck. So yeah, that one looks pretty fun. We'll, we'll check that one out here pretty soon. Um, what they've also done is dropped some new bonus maps, I believe. Yeah, and I really like how they've reorganized this as well. So we've got some odd jobs here, which I've done three of them. I still have not cleaned the locomotive. And then in the Muckingham files, we've got part one where we've already cleaned the food truck, but we still have to do the satellite dish and the solar station. And the uh, Muckingham files too, we still have to clean the Spanish villa. And then part three is both of these are new, clean the aquarium, clean the submarine. Those are both new jobs. And part four is also new jobs, clean the modern mansion and clean the fire plane. So we've got quite a few bonus maps to do as well. I think what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to clean the steam locomotive and just finish off the odd jobs. And then we'll probably take a look at the uh, the cruise ship, the summer, the summer special, because I do want to do that one. But for right now, we're just going to jump right into cleaning the steam locomotive and uh, get this one knocked out. And we'll have all of the odd jobs finished up. From Bertha Jefferson... Hello, Dirt Finder. I'm the mayor's sister, but don't judge me too harshly. Oh, yeah, we did not like the mayor, did we? I didn't choose to be. Anyway, whilst he's busying himself with who knows what, I've been exploring the recesses of our vast familial estate, none of which is mine, and came across this curiosity, a steam locomotive out in the back of beyond. To be honest, I've no idea what it amounts to, but if you can clean it down for me, it might reveal some interesting family history or something. Thanks, Bertha. All right, looks like we've got our uh, good power washer. We've got quite a bit of metal cleaner, and I believe that's wood. So there's probably a little bit of wood on it too, um, maybe in the cargo cars. But let's get this job started. That seagull's in my ear. Oh, wow, look at this place. There's my van. Whose car is that? Is that Bertha's car? Bertha! Bertha, come help me! Look at this place. There's a deer crossing. Wow. I'm gonna buy ourselves some souvenirs. got birds screaming in my ears and <laughs> we've got a generator to this cactus I'm a tumbleweed <laughs> look at that move along little doggy this is awesome All right, pretty much this whole thing looks like metal, so let's just go right off the bat, get our soap nozzle and start spraying this thing down. Seems like the plan, right? Aren't steam locomotives extraordinary pieces of engineering? Would you like to know more about how they work? Why, I sure would, Bertha. Or would you like some salacious gossip on my brother? I've got plenty of that. I would like to know about your brother. That man's a, a nut job. Reply yes please for gossip or stay silent for locomotive facts. <laughs> yes please! I hope she heard me, because I really want to know about her brother. Jeff Jefferson the Thought Tape.
This is wood. Got our first ding. We can get a uh, pretty good base clean on it here. I'd be pretty happy with that. Don't wanna waste any of it though. I know I'm getting some of the wood here, but it looks like it's coming off with this, so that's good. Ooh. In order to work a steam locomotive, oh, in order to work, a steam locomotive needs water and fuel, usually coal, but sometimes even wood or oil. I really want to know about your brother. The fuel is stored in the coal car at the back of this one. All right, so we got some fuel back here. We start her up and send her on our way. I think I've said this um, before in some of the other ones, like it would be so cool if they were able to, like once you got it completed, like see this thing actually start taking off and move in action, you know? Like you've got it cleaned up and you've got it restored and all of a sudden the engine starts and it starts moving. I mean, they kind of did that in uh, the Back to the Future one. But by and large, a lot of the maps, they don't really do that on. You know what I mean? Like the fountain one, it would have been so cool if once you got the fountain cleaned up, it actually started, started up and started spraying out water. Oh, this has got some rust on it. Rust is not our friend. Ooh. Got a nice couple little dings there. All right, are we going to have to get up inside here? No, but we're gonna have to get on top. Can I? Get this here real quick. All right, we are out of metal cleaner. We do have a little bit of wood, so we'll keep that in mind. But for now, let's just finish this up. This little lip here. It must be on the other side. Yep, there it is. Nice, top done.
We did pretty good with the metal cleaner on this side, so there's not a lot to get on the actual car itself, the coal car. platform does not count. There's only just a, a little bit left. Let's, let's grab uh, this. Just see what kind of uh, there we go. That's all we needed. With the platform, I'm probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably underneath. When it's time to go, the locomotive's boiler is filled with water. The boiler's found in the long cylinder part at the front. There is something very fascinating about this kind of stuff in there. Then, as the drivers pump coal into the furnace, the water is heated to become steam, which powers the pistons and makes the train move forward. up pretty good though, pretty easily. I really didn't think it would. here just to make sure we didn't miss anything uh wait what oh all these panels are different i did not even realize had no clue that they were that different is done. It's just the uh, actual car itself that's not. Platform was all one piece. Uh, 
Okay, are we good now? Buffer, hook, ring, buffer, buffer, hook. What about you, buffer? You're done. You're done. All right, so we got a little bit of wood cleaner. Let's go back and get that out again. Got two liters of it. Don't know that we need two liters. But we'll use it if they're giving it to us. That's for sure. That's for dang sure. Clean ceiling, be clean. See if we can get the floor finished. I don't even know where else this is dirty. Hmm. Uh, we only have a little bit left. Let's just hold on to it just in case something else comes up. We should be able to get it with this, I think. Satisfying. To get all the cracks and crevices. the floor just had that one little bit we had to get side of these. I mean, we're looking pretty good here. Through the window. It's an interesting angle, but it's got to be done. Underneath. I don't know, guys. Looking pretty clean to me. I had seen something. Maybe that was outside. I think it is outside. Just connected, connected to the outside. These outer panels.
There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. At the front, you'll find a cow catcher, though it's not designed to catch the cows as much as it as much it is to encourage them to exist in a space other than that occupied by the train itself. And to do so at their earliest convenience. That makes sense. No one, no cows blocking the road. Probably should have saved some of our metal for this side, or at least the top. Especially if this is going to be rusty. Which I don't know that it is. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but... Couldn't hear the ding, but it did ding, I promise. There's a few. There was a half a ding. All right, are we all good? Are we all good? with how that looks for now. We're definitely going to have to go back uh, over that side on the top. Same way with the cow catcher. Looks like you're nearly done, so unfortunately I haven't got time to go into why I think my brother keeps taking nocturnal visits to the National Park. Oh, come on, spill the tea, I wanna know. Maybe next time. You're such a tease, Bertha. Such a tease. good about how we cleaned this one so far. I feel like we made good progress on it. I don't even know what that was. I got something though. Why is this panel still so dirty? That's not on the inside, is it? Underneath? Yeah, it was the underneath. Snicky, snicky. Stairs.
There's nothing on the underside of the cow catcher, is there? How we looking? Pretty dang good. Really just need to get up there and get the top done, I think. There's still some stuff in here that's dirty. Not sure what it is though. was it. That'll do her. Should be able to make pretty quick work of the top and Call the steam locomotive complete. What, what am I looking at? What uh, equipment do you want me to pick up? This ladder that's behind me? You are utterly ridiculous. I hate the ladders. Why would you even do that? You'll make no sense. These games sometimes make no sense. Righto, righto. Righto, righto. Alright, I think it's time to drop down and do the uh, side paneling. I don't even know if we can walk along the paneling here. There's not a lot of room. It's a pretty tight squeeze. Just gotta hope we're not gonna fall off. A little bit under here, I think. Like, look how dirty the running board still is, though. It's all under here. There it goes. Beautiful. I can't stand up. There we go. Thought I had some uh, of that cab panel up, but it's just the furnace. It's 
Still haven't got the final three yet, which is disappointing because I thought I was pretty close. There's a little bit of something up here at the front still too. Was there not? Um, doesn't look like it. Hey. There we go. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Cool color skirtings. These are all separate, weren't they? And I didn't realize it. Didn't realize that they were different. Okay, crank rods. What the heck is a crank rod? This is a crank rod. Piston rod as well. Here's the piston rod. Okay, where are you, crank rod? There it is. There it is, nice. Let's get the, the old time lapse going there. It wasn't bad, wasn't bad at all. All right, Bertha, what an extraordinary job you've done. Thank you, I had no idea that would that it would scrub up so beautifully, almost like it's emerged from a time capsule. Also, did you notice that sign? Apparently my great-grandfather did a runner from here in 1885 with goodness knows what, only to return for the opening of the Muckingham subway station in 1922. The plot thickens. All right, that's gonna complete all of our odd job bonus jobs. I really would have liked if once we got it completed, that thing would have just fired up and just headed off into the middle of nowhere, but that may be too much to ask. And I really wish Bertha would have told me more about her brother, because I really want to know what's going on with the scummy mayor. But anyhow, that completes the steam locomotive. You guys made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much for hanging around. I appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.